Hey, how's it going? It's Louis here from Singularity Film and we have got a really exciting day today. So if you want to learn how to take incredible product photos like this, then make sure you stick around. So today we're going to be creating some hero shots for a new drinks brand called Fix with professional photographer Tom Barton. Tom has over a decade of commercial experience and has worked with clients such as Arsenal, Everton, Nike Football, the FA, Contra, Rurock and so many more. And today we're going behind the scenes with him, seeing what he does, how he does it and all that kind of thing. We're really looking forward to this one. We cannot wait to bring you guys along and I'm sure we're all going to learn a hell of a lot. Cool, so we're in the studio now. This is where we're going to be doing our product photography today with Tom. And we've got two products to photograph, um, two different flavours of this Fix Collagen Water. So we've got this one here, a raspberry flavour, and then we've got this one here which is the lemon and lime flavour. So we're going to wait for Tom to arrive and then we're going to get the studio set up. We've got our, obviously our camera, working with the R5 today. Mm -hmm. um, we're shooting at a pretty high shutter speed. So we're at um, 1,250th per second, uh, F16 to make sure we've got a bit of flexibility over um, depth of field, because although we're hoping to get the fruit in the middle of a tank, it sometimes can be off by a couple of mils. So hopefully that'll just sort of give us yeah. that extra bit of leeway. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of lighting, we've got three lights set up. We've got one on the back through the half diffusion, um, bare head, um, which will give us just sort of a nice look through through the actual water droplets themselves. We've mm -hmm. got our our main our key light here, uh, relatively hard just to give us a bit of punch and a bit of pop on the actual fruit itself. And then we've got a third light on the other side, which is just acting as our as our fill, just to sort of soften any shadows and just sort of really make the fruit pop. Perfect. Um, we're tethering to uh, Capture One. Uh, yeah. Version Capture One supports the CR3 files that the R5 produces. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, really. So we're we're ready to rock now. Go. So we're going to be dropping some fruit into the tank and uh, making a bit of mess. Cool. Let's do it. One, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. So that's all the limes captured. So we're going to move on to lemons now because we're compositing all the elements um, into the shot in post production. Uh, and then we're going to move on to our second image, which has got uh, aloe vera and raspberries. That is. Yeah. Okay, so we've just finished up getting some photographs of the different fruits um, related to the two different drinks and now we're going to get some photographs of the actual product so of the bottle itself so this is our bottle asset for our um, our first composite uh, there's two variations of the product so two different flavors so we're capturing each bottle um, we're going to be capturing a few different shots uh, for various different assets on the bottle so we've got the lid the label uh, I want a little bit of negative fill on one side, so just so that the light's sort of wrapping around the bottle, just to add a little bit of drama. I don't want it to look overly lit or too sort of, yeah, just too flat really. So that hopefully will make it look quite dynamic because we've lit the fruit in exactly the same way. Um, so we've just got a couple more shots of this to do before we're ready to sort of start piecing our composite together for the first shot. Okay, so as a quick recap so far, what we've done is we've done the uh, fruits being dropped into the fish tank. Um, we've then done the product photos, so the bottles individually. And what we're doing now is just grabbing a couple of shots of the fruits individually, so the lemons, the limes, and the raspberries. And what we're doing is just putting them up on a cocktail stick with some blue tack. And basically, we're just adjusting the lighting ever so slightly and adding in a reflector on a couple of shots. And we're just turning the fruit around um, and just swapping them out for other pieces. So essentially what we've got is a load of choices when it comes to compositing the final image. So we've got all the fruits in the water, in the fish tank, but we've also got them separately as well. And we can always add them in if we need to later on when it comes to actually compositing these images. This 
is our, our technically our third setup. So we're capturing uh, the first uh, raspberry and acai berry flavoured um, flavoured drink. So we're shooting to like a purple magenta background. We may change the hue or something in post, but um, this will give our water a natural feel if we do have to composite. Um, we're then going to throw some water at the bottle to hopefully get some nice water splashes and stuff wrapping around the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not a quick process, so we'll have to repeat it a few times. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So we've at the moment we've got our our bottle here. We've got uh, our key at the front here. Mm -hmm. We've got a flagged off light here, which is giving us a nice sort of spot on the actual background itself. And then we've got two lights at the back, which will just give us some nice edge lights as the water wraps around the product. We'll aim for the sort of top corner of the bottle. Top, yeah. I'd like another sort of longer piece coming out of that side. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, sweet. So we're on to our, our new setup for the um, the second product. Uh, we're using pretty much the same setup as the previous image. We're just going to have some variation in our splashes and the positioning of our fruit and stuff to make them look um, individual in terms of their, their overall aesthetic. Um, we have a step-by-step -step process, so we're going to capture the bottle uh, as cl clean as possible. Then we're going to do some uh, assets for the composite with water wrapping around the bottle and then we'll capture some fruit separately and then we'll also capture some water um, without the bottle in shot just um, to give us some additional material to work with should we need it. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's low. That's cool. A couple more of those, that's nice mate. One, two, three. Yeah. So as you can see guys, we're just packing everything away now. It's been a really long day shooting for about seven hours or so, but we're really excited to see the final images. And just before we do, we'll get some final thoughts from Tom on today's shoot. Cool, so yeah, really successful shoot day. Got everything done pretty much that we needed to, minus a couple of little bits that we'll just need to do in terms of mop up. So maybe some more assets of fruit, but we we'll, won't know that until we start to composite the images. Did four four setups to create six images. Um, it's quite a technical technical process, as you can see from the behind the scenes. It's a, a lot of throwing water around, a lot of it's pot luck. Um, but yeah, really really pleased how it went. Got some really really striking imagery, and uh, look forward to sharing the results with you soon. So there we have it guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed coming along behind the scenes today with us and with Tom on our product photography shoe. I don't know about you guys but I think the final images look absolutely fantastic but it'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget if you like videos like this and you want to see more from us then all you need to do is hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.